five. Gabby Busman of West Germany is in six. Dagmar Rubsam, who should go for the bronze medal, and the 20-year-old East German girl in lane seven, and Tatiana Kochimbova, who will contest that bronze medal with her. There she is, right on the outside. Only 20 years of age. Remember, Kratoch Vilova is 31 years of age. Now, this title has been won with the world records in 1962, 1969, and 1978. And the world record, which stands at 48.60, could go between these two girls. And it's expected that Kratoc Vilova will blast off very strongly. She's actually been timed at 22.3 for the first 200 meters on her way around the one lap circuit. Koch in lane three, Kratoc Vilova in lane four. Koch has already. Uh, Tailing her, the Czech girl has gone past Baskakova. <clears throat> the Czech girl leading, but Koch is trailing nicely in her way. And if anything, Koch is closing on her. Koch has had a marvellous early part of the race. Normally, Kratoc Vilova goes off the faster, but it's the East German girl that's gone past her now. 22 8 for Marita Koch, and she comes storming off the bend. And the Czechoslovakian girl's got to give chase, but there's only one girl in it at the moment. It's a marvellous run. Look at the gap, bro. Kratoc Vilova, watch for the record. It's a storming run. The world record, 48-6-0, goes. 48-6-0, goes. 48-1-4, Marie de Kock, Supreme champion. Absolutely stunning. Let there be no doubt about it. She is peerless at one lap running. Superb sprinting. She took the challenge on from the gun. There was going to be no Czechoslovakian girl running away from her. Not over the early part of the race. Not at any part of the race. She ran her own race. And really, by the time she reached 300 metres, the title was hers. It was just a question of all the record to be improved to her. A standing ovation as she richly deserves. Marvellous atmosphere. East Germany win another title, and it's probably the most popular girl in their team. Fascinating race to sit back and watch, because from the gun, Kratoc Vilova tried her usual tactic, and that is to blast away over the first 300, and then use her strength to stay in front. But Koch is well aware of those tactics, and they beat her last year in the World Cup, and the world record holder wasn't going to let it happen again. Now, notice down the back straight, it's at this moment that she starts to close on the white-shirted Czech. And they're approaching the halfway stage now at 200, and she's making Kratoc Vilova very aware of the fact that her early speed has not paid off this time. And Marita Koch reaches Kratoc Vilova at the halfway stage. And from that moment onwards, the powerful Czech was always going to be second. It was a supreme piece of running, dominant, and she made the position absolutely clear to the world number two. And she, as she comes off this bend, the way she relaxes is absolutely copybook. She's run a very, very fast first 300, and she just takes time out to relax. You can see her there making a conscious effort to keep free and fluent, and Kratoc Vilova, with all that strength, can make absolutely no impression. And then, over the last 30, 40 metres, Koch starts to go away again. And I think, actually, she'd got in her vision then the ticking clock on the giant scoreboard above the stadium. And the world record is reduced from 48.6 to 48.14. And Steve Avet, a world record holder himself, well, you've got to be impressed by that, Steve. That was, that was quite staggering, really, David, because not only did she leave the check there by four or five yards, but if you watch the other runners in the race, they're about 50 yards behind. And, and that, in the 400 metres, is, is an awesome performance. And one of the most interesting things, I think, is that she's produced a world record on demand. Um, Seven Eye can produce it in set-up races throughout Europe, but she's actually done it here in a championship final, which is, as I said before, quite awesome.
they are tremendous rivals. There's a lot of, uh, it's not enmity between them, but uh, there's a lot of rivalry between them. And I noticed just before the race, they made a gesture towards each other. They moved towards each other. It was quite spontaneous. The two girls went towards each other. Sure. No British interest.